All right, guys, got the other alternator on. Had a couple few problems. They sent me a, a brace that goes on the back here, connects to the other one. And uh, I couldn't get the PCM, the plug-in, uh, the first alternator. So uh, I called up DC and they told me uh, so that I don't, don't even need that back brace. Stan said, go ahead and just uh, take it off. So I took it off and uh, got the PCM plug-in. Well, we got the alternator shaking a little. Now, I'm kind of scared. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But, yeah moving a little and I'm just scared it's gonna rip some bearings out of the fucking thing and I had some problems with the charge light too I had I don't know what the deal is I don't know because that PCM wasn't plugged all the way in but I plugged it all the way in I still had uh, some charge light issues and uh, just a few minutes ago it finally went off I don't know if but what's weird is um, it only came on when uh, the R when I revved it up when the RPMs went. So I'm thinking that the belt might be slipping here. So I don't know. You can see the belt dust on there. I'll see if the light comes back on, but I'm definitely gonna give uh, DC power a call tomorrow and see about the vibrating issue here. I don't know. I really don't want to be spending $650 having have an alternator to fucking go to shit on me. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Voltage, uh, I took out my MLA, and though without the MLA, I'm sitting probably around 14.8. It's around 15 earlier. Cold start, it's like 15.2. So yeah. Nice little background here. But that's it for now, guys. Not even gonna get into what happened with the uh, 25 inch, but uh, yeah, just a little pissed about that deal. But we'll have something else in here, guys. Talk to you later.